Tacos are still in their bags, even though they're out of I noticed that. No, to break that all up because we're just making it a little bit more. Uh, we, now, are we going to layer this or are we going no, to? No, we're going to mix it all together. Oh. Because that's what we got. So we just. So, yeah, here's this great part is if you love Taco Bell yeah. or Del Taco or any of those things, you can make a lot of these things at home because they make it really easy. In fact, they have things that you can buy at the store that say Taco Bell on it. Yeah, like this. We got actually we do have Taco Bell beans and Taco Bell shells, which we wouldn't have if they weren't available at the 99 cent store. Well, and these are they call these bite-sized snacks. Now look at they are. There's 24. There's 12 little taco shells yeah. right there. I can guarantee you the ones that tasted like cheddar were really bad. What tasted like cheddar? They, they turned out Taco Bell shells that tasted like cheddar, and they were really hard. Oh. Basically what it was, they, they weren't cheddar. They were dusted with cheddar sauce. Oh. And the sauce, basically, the, the powder got everywhere all over. Okay, we're going to try a different plate today. Because we're going to actually have some yeah, Then we just go take it the bag out, tear it, and then dump it in with the hamburger, and you're mm -hmm. almost done. Now yeah. these are Taco Bell beans, Yeah. but these are seasoned pintos, yep. and there's some little jalapenos on them. Okay, we, say we don't often have peppers that we can use though, because peppers are not on somebody's diet. Uh, so we don't have peppers. Even though everything hot under the sun is on the diet. This one has Mexican chili sauce on it. Yeah, just mix that all. 
up, put it in for another, uh, just put it in for like a minute on, on me, uh, 30 seconds on medium. I think that will be more than plenty. Then we'll start making, and then when that comes up, we'll start making our stuff. Well, that's just how we're done, folks. Because what we're making, well, we're making the individual things, we then put our cheese sauce, which we also picked up. Oh, yeah, now this up. one is good. This one is jalapeno cheese sauce. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this one on top of it. Of course, even though you have jalapeno, jalapeno cheese sauce, you can still use. <laughs> I know that. She got I couldn't resist. This is like the Mexican cheese. They call it the Mexican blend. Mexican yeah. cheddar cheese and seasonings. And we're going to give you a tip about shards. We, we told this to people before. About what? About the uh, cheese shard shreds. Oh, you need to read it. Why? Read. Well, yesterday we found the. That we were looking at stuff at the store which we didn't buy because it said uh, I mean, not for it not for melt it formulated to not melt. Well, what good is it for Christ's sake? It's meant to, they show you they one show minute. you one minute. Yeah, one minute. Okay. Now let's start making your things. Yeah. So yeah, like you said, they don't all melt. Yeah, and then we. Is there imitation? Yeah, and then our uh, our tomatoes are uh, are diced. Diced tomatoes, so you just sprinkle that on the on the top of the salad. So they look really well because a lot of you may may or may not have fresh tomatoes at home. So if you have fresh tomatoes, all the better. But yeah, if not, we don't. We you may do what we, with got, what we have. We got what we got, and we cook this in the green show. You don't go out and buy stuff. So we didn't buy. No. We're doing things for presentation. Actually, this week we actually bought some really beautiful lettuce for a presentation, which is the good. The other stuff to eat is basically really great. You know, yeah. I, I, I said, no, we just start leave the thing in the, uh, in the microwave where it stays warm. We just kind of sit there and fill these little monsters up. Yeah, I know. Great. This is the great part. Yeah, yeah. He just. There should be enough to fill up a package, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you can never put too much in here because these things are tiny. I know. I know. But they're good. They call, they call them bite-sized, but I think it's still going to take you at least a couple bites unless you can put a lot in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. See, the chair dog is unhappy because the chair dog knows what we discovered is they're they're putting cable behind this. I want to see him come into the yard. There she's charging out to the back fence. Which means I'm guessing they're getting close. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know the chair dog. She's happy because she's her name is featured on national around the world. We we made a promise to the chair dog when we got her that she we'd make her famous. <laughs> she's all over the crazy world this weekend. She is Monty Bubbles. Yeah. I mean, she's getting healthy again. She's got her her Irish figure is back. And, it's, and can take on all the other dogs at a dog show by herself. I know she can. She could kick their butts. Um, and we didn't have to spend five or six thousand dollars to do it. Someday we'll tell people about it, what, how to treat animals too. But not today. Yeah, and it is I usually I did have that really red, I had that figured out too. I know. Look at this, and we've got just a little bit of greens. Yeah. We don't need tons. Well, you know, it's all got to do with them. Oh God! Yeah. I, I am smelling this, and I am getting hungry. I right, you know this is all going to get eaten in about ten seconds. Well, because what it is is they were cooking out a sequence because we have a. Uh, we we basically have a time problem. We have to be doing stuff later today, so cooking ended up an hour earlier than it should have. Didn't make any difference if, if the tummies are tummies. need food. Tummies need food. Ooh. 
I'm wondering if we should mix it up a little bit more. Yeah, hot it again. Hot. So remember, it didn't reduce really at that time. Although I do see the heat coming off of it. So I would heat it up. And um, yeah, actually, you're going to drop the onions on top of the, the cheese sauce. Oh, I put the onions in. Okay, actually. remember I have tomatoes over there too. Oh yeah, are we heating the tomatoes? Put them on cold. They could be no. The tom cold. tomatoes are cold. You don't put the tomatoes on. So you just put the take your um, tom put the tomatoes and then put the you put the tomatoes on and then put the cheese sauce over the top of them. Or you can put the tomatoes on top of the cheese sauce. It's actually yeah. It's up to your aesthetic way you want to make it look. There's no wrong way. That's the whole trick. Because usually you're making, that's you put sour cream on top, which is usually cold. So you put all the warm stuff on beforehand. Yeah. So we'll do the the uh, jalapeno cheese sauce, then the shreds, and then the tomatoes. And the tomatoes, because sometimes what happens is a large okay, a large container of chopped tomatoes is far cheaper than buying one big chopped tomato, one big tomato. Yeah, and so you don't, you never know. It depends on how cheap you get it. And, and the tomatoes are there, when you put them in a container, they're there for further use. Oh yeah. I mean, oh yeah. I know she really enjoys. Oh yeah, I can tell. So, I mean, like, um, uh, you know, it, it's not like more than five minutes or so. It was it. That's a minute and a half. A minute. That's two and a half. There's like five minutes of like heating time for this thing. That's not really a lot of time. Mm -mm. And um, here's a trick, if you want it to be warm and not wilt the th stuff, all you do is to put yourself um, uh, like a, 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 a slightly dampened paper towel over the top and then heat in the, uh, in the microwave and it will warm things up without killing your, your stuff. So that's good, not bad. That's a, you know, you can turn out one of these every uh, probably a dozen every seven minutes, I would guess. I mean, you'd get a whole, I mean, so you could have somebody back there filling the trays just as fast as people are finishing them, which is a really a good deal. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I know, she likes, she, she says we got that. Okay, and here's the trick is, if we have the stuff to use, we use the stuff. If we don't, this is actually as close as you're going to get to a real recipe as we ever do. Why? But, you know, because we have all the ingredients for once, except for um, except for chopped peppers. Yeah, actually, we do have a lot of. So that's the only thing we're missing is, like the, is the is the peppers. peppers because I, pe I, I, my palate is not as spicy as other people's. I know. You probably end up some of these things are going to have a cake. Okay. The uh, Mexican shreds are really good because we actually, we melted them and we, we used them, we melted them in with an omelet yesterday. We used the other patty, the other patty hamburger to, uh, actually oh, we yeah. used about one inch of hamburger and made an omelet with it. Oh gosh, I'm looking at this getting hungry. It's looking so good. Yeah. Okay, yes, I'm using separate spoons. Because, because you can't mix, because the, well, you can't, you don't know. Because you're the, only using part of these ingredients, you're not using all of the it. The tomato is meant to be used for other stuff. And it's always the tomato, it's always this, uh, that, okay, what we will do is for days, we will cook with that cheese sauce, unless somebody else in the house Right, so we don't want to put other ingredients in there. Yeah. And I did not bring a cup with warm water over. Which yeah. is the other way she rinses it. Yeah. Off. Okay. The the way to tell if it is cheese and our artificial stuff is if it will wash off real easily in the water. It's probably cheese. Mm. If it's more difficult to clean, it's probably artificial. Really, I thought I would think it's the opposite. No, because the real cheese is made with um, with um, milk and stuff, and the milk. Yeah, remember that, that okay. artificial basically is made from like um, propylene glycol and other things. So oh like, gosh, look at this. Does it, does it look at that? Does that look I know. Look I mean. At, I know, she's getting good. Look at that. That looks really good. I know. A whole plate of tacos. I know. In probably, like I said, maybe seven minutes. Okay, so these are mini shells and there's only 12 of them. Yeah. So I said, 
I only ate 12 tacos today. Yeah, I only ate, no, but if you're... Oh, actually, that's a perfect one for a picture. Yeah. We'll do. I only ate 12 tacos today. Thank you, Taco Bell. Yeah, so, but no, it, uh, the trick is that this is something that if you're having a party, you can turn this stuff out as fast as they're eating. Yeah, and the other part is, what I do is I take this and probably and just make it a little more liquid and then just go like this. Yeah. You know? So you'd have that straight. So you have them all cross. straight and then with the cheese just go well, like this. Well, actually what you would do is that you go to the side where the liquid is on the um, on the tomatoes. You don't have to make it more liquid because it isn't a liquid base. You go to the side of the container where all the liquid is. And if you really know what you're doing, you can tilt it a little bit and just pour the liquid yeah. over the top. So instead of where I did each one individual, you just go yep. shh, shh, yep. like the It makes it look one. even more fancy. Oh, gosh. And she, she knows she's been waiting to eat. I'm hungry. I've been waiting. So are these good? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Once again, because we work with layers of heat when we cook. Mm hmm Mmm. So. Hmm. No, I just realized, I'm really sorry to say, but guys, um, you know, I know I'm eating over the plate, so yeah. they may not be good for you guys to use. Yeah. So I might have to eat all of them. You got the people in the background. <laughs> She'll, unfortunately, <laughs> we will cook enough at least for four people, and it never quite goes that far because she eats every, she gets the first shot at. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, but it's, it, if... I mean, she she's always amazed at how well the simple stuff turns out because she figures, God, it can't do it. it. It's cooking is as simple or as difficult as you want to make it. That's what I heard from a chef a long time ago. My mother's, oh. he basically was like me on editing and taking pictures. He just did it. He didn't, you know, I'm not pulling around. You know, he'd walk around, go out, he'd walk around real quick, go outside and smoke a cigarette, come back in, and then. <laughs> This is really, really, really good. Okay. Tacos, mini tacos on the fly. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bon appetit. Enjoy.